Oh, hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina and I am the Honest Welcome Coach. Right, so today I am catching up with Eurovision and I am using my brand new camera. I recently got a DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and it's genius. I am totally in love with it. So I've decided to try it out today for this very reaction. My usual camera is this ZV-1 by Sony, Sony, however you pronounce it. But today we are moving towards 4K and it has a gimbal as well. So there we are. I like my gadgets. Right, so as you know, I have been reacting to Eurovision so far this year. The song started to come out in November last year. We are now February. Can't believe it's going so quick. I've got about six lined up that came out over the last week. Unfortunately, I had a really busy week, so I'm not filming until Sunday, so I am a little bit behind. So I'm starting to catch up. This is Angela Mango at Le Noir, which I believe means black, but I could be wrong. Uh, so uh, let's dive in. So yeah, it's Angela Mango at uh, Le Noir, 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 I'm not sure. Uh, written by Angela Mango, Madame Dadust. Let's dive in. Quanti disegni ho fatto? Rimango qui e li guardo. She looks so similar to Mae Muller, the British entry last year with the hairdo and just her eye makeup. Anyway, so it starts with a speaking before we even get any music kick in. Nessuno prende vita. Questa pagina è pigra. Vado di fretta. E mi hanno detto che la vita è preziosa. Really strong rhythm comes straight in. Venendo sotto salta sul collo, la mia collana non ha perle di saggezza. A me hanno dato le perline colorate per le. It's really quick. Eppure sta una passa guarda zero drammi. Quasi quasi cambio di nuova città. Ooh, I'm liking this. Oh, this is Alfie, by the way. He's just brought me a little squeaky ball. Let's carry on. La noia. La noia. Isn't it unusual? La noia. Okay, I'm gonna have to look this up now. What does it mean? Let's see. La noia. Uh, so it's a feminine noun, apparently. It means boredom. Is that right? One says it's uh, the process of resolving tax issues. I don't think it's that. Boredom? Boredom it is. Okay. <laughs> Oh, a bit of <gasps> snatching of breath, but I can see why, because it's really, really wordy. It's very catchy. Uh, it's not really getting me yet, but I'm hoping it will grow on me. It's so quick. And it's sort of singing, but in tunes, essentially. Actually, I'm trying to film. <laughs> That's such a lot in one go. Breathe, breathe. So I'm just having a quick look at what the song is about. It says sad moments are often the seed to prelude to new happiness. The darkness before the light. We should not be afraid of boredom. It should be welcome. It is important. Just like all feelings that draw us into the depths. There is always an upswing. Boredom should not be fought. It is a valuable time that we can devote to ourselves. And you have to dance away difficult moments. I see. So many drawings I've made. I stand here and look at them. None come to life. This page is, cra is lazy. I'm in a hurry and I've been told that life is precious. I wear it head high on my neck. My necklace has no pearls of wisdom. They give me the coloured beads that are for messed up little girls with traumas that slowly unravel with age. Yes, I'm as happy as a clam. <laughs> Look, zero drama. Maybe I'll change town once again because if I stay still, it comes to me, it comes to me. The boredom, the boredom, the boredom, the boredom. Boredom. I die without dying in these used days. I live without suffering. There is no greater worry. So essentially, she's singing about the glory of being bored. Like, don't 
don't always have to be doing something take the time to think to just enjoy life i guess live in the moment i think that's what it's trying to say mm. the words don't translate all that well into english but it sounds incredible when she's singing it this is very good so nice head voice there and then into something definitely more chest isn't italian such a sexy sounding language very powerful vocal I like this a lot. It's a cracking tune. Very, very catchy. Kind of lacks some dancers though, don't you think? I'd love to see some dancers in this. But who knows what the staging is going to be like. So, I'll, I know I didn't really comment all that much just then, but I wasn't really sure what to say. I think it's because when I do so many of these Eurovision reactions, I do all of them. It, it, you're kind of looking for something that stands out, that really draws you in. And on first listen, it takes you a minute to kind of get used to the song and appreciate it. So I know I didn't say a great deal, but don't worry, I will be doing recaps every so often so I can give you my list of who I think is at the top and all of that. It's throughout the process. So let me know what you think of this one. Don't forget to subscribe because you'd be surprised how many people watch my videos, but don't actually subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves.